What's up, everybody? Crypto Muscle. Coming to you with another YouTube video. Here we are, international now, worldwide. I think this is where it's at. Crypto Muscle and the Crypto Muscle Network. Coming to you with another YouTube video. Alright, Death Watch series. That's what it's all about. People love the Death Watch series. People love the truth that goes on in the space. You know, they don't want to be given the runaround. They don't want to be, you know, given the uh, kicking out, get kick, getting kicked out of groups just because they want to express uh, concern or doubt <laughs> or fear, right? Uncertainty or doubt, right? They, you know, and there's nothing wrong with freedom of expression, but then you have dumbass, you know, bitches out there that have to be band hammer friendly, you know, happy to where they're swinging band hammers and kicking you out just because you're expressing your thoughts and feelings, you know, and that it can be frustrating for some people. Oh, no, 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 you gotta stay positive, guys. You gotta stay positive, you know. There's too much negative in this chat. Get out of here, man. So, when you gotta deal with shit like that, I cut through all that shit. Right here, Death Watch. You want the truth, you want the reality. You want to know what's truly happening in terms of just what is going on in some of these platforms we're in. Well, shit. <laughs> this is where you find it. Because all these other, you know, chat groups and mainly not enough content out there to tell the other side of what's going on, right? All these YouTubers want to talk about, hey, how everything's good. But what about when things are bad? How about doing the people you know, out there, uh, just, do, how about doing them a favor for a change, instead of just being a little bitch and a dick, and, and, uh, you know, just tell it, and, and, uh, just tell it like it's supposed to be, all right, great examples here, all right, here's, here's a good one, <laughs> I always like, I always love rolling, throwing, throwing these guys under the bus, and just roll over and over and over again, because these are, these two are the biggest dicks and bitches in crypto, right? Jan and Marcos, all right? Because those are two examples of of what they show their true side, all right? Why is it that they got their chock full of content, all kinds of shit, right? Oh man, videos after videos, right? They got a schedule every week, right? They got a schedule they they maintain when things are good, right? But man, when things are bad and they've proven it time and time again, where are they? Right? Zero content. Take those videos down. Right? Nothing. Ever since what happened with Vortech and CloudFi, you got nothing coming out of those guys. Well, yeah, Jan I hit out for a while and then he finally popped up trying to push some new bullshit token in Asia. But keeping it on the low. But what about talking about Vortech, right? You were big on Vortech. What about CloudFi? What happened? And same with that little dickbag bitch who sucks his nuts all the time. J uh, Marcos, right? How about him? When shit hits the fan, man. Where are you, man? All, all you do is, yeah, you might give a little bit of updates on Vortech, but where are you, though? You, you, you were supposed to be supposedly, you know, the guy that has the insides of Jensen and all that. But yet, when shit is the fan, where are you now? Right? Take all those videos down, right? Last I checked, you only had two of them up. Took it all down. Man, that's some great support. Man, I thought you were support, man. You were all in Jensen's ass, too. And all of a sudden, man, when shit is the fan, take those, take those videos down. See, it's the shit like that that I see in the space. You know? And it's like, it's a disservice to everybody. So anyhow, just wanted to give you examples of what these bitches do in the space. Yeah, so, yeah, fuck you, Marcos. Yeah, that's right. I hope you hear it. I hope it resonates because that you're, you're number one in terms of how bad of an example you are. Oh, man, wait, wait till the next platform comes out for you. What are you going to do? 
oh man it's all about this platform and all these countless of videos right and all the PDFs you do for it, even a PDF upon a PDF right and you get your damn girlfriend on and on it too right yeah 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 tell me about it and then when she hits the fan again take those videos back down right like a bitch that you are and so all that's <laughs> I'm just saying right isn't that the truth isn't that what's really happening here I keep saying his his bitch got more balls. Keep those videos up. She got more balls in them. All right, and it's funny though. Uh, how about this, right? <laughs> oh man, and and uh, YouTuber out there, Jorge Vasal, right? He he can attest to this, right? <laughs> when uh, Marcos had a little hiatus, right? When shit is the fan on. Uh, Coin market bull, he had a little hiatus, right? All of a sudden, right? You know, he had to go visit his parents or whatever bullshit excuse, right? And then when they were, you know, talking about reflecting on coin market bull, right? On that final call they did with him and Jan, he taught, he used an excuse that he had health issues dealing with belching. <laughs> oh man, I could, I spit out my what? I was drinking water and I spit that shit out. I was like, oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Yeah, health issues because you had to deal with belching? You know, a little gas issues? And coincidentally, Jan had to deal with some food poisoning, a little tummy ache, right? That coincidentally was timed when, when uh, you know, shit is the fan, right? It's just funny how this shit is, right? So I, I laugh at all this shit all the time. It's just funny ass shit. And you guys keep falling for it. So the latest in this whole uh, this whole thing that's going on is Invisible AI is starting to come on my radar, right? And I hate to say this, but it's just the actions of what's been going on over the past, you know, you say, a, a, let's just say a few weeks, all right? It all started a few weeks ago. And it all started when Jan came aboard, right? Because... When Jan came aboard, I mean, things were running smooth. They, things were running great. And it was just very coincidental. I mean, it's just, you, you, you know, you put the pieces together. Very coincidental. All right? Jan comes aboard. And the next thing you know, you know, within days and weeks at a time, all of a sudden, these explosion of different plans that come out. Right? Here's this plan. Here's that plan. And if you do this, there's a bonus. Right? Bonus, you know. 5% this or 7% that, right? All that stuff. Go in this plan, you're going to get, you're going to go in at 5,000 instead of 10,000 at this price. Minimum. Take advantage of this rate today, right? That type of stuff. And then they extend deadlines for those particular plans, you know, to say, "Hey, you know, we're pushing this deadline, give you another 3 more days, you know, give you another 72 hours." All right? And then there's been countless of emails and pushing for all that. And it was continuous. A lot of different sort of variations of plans, business days, regular days, right? The percentages, the bonuses, all that stuff. There was, there was a lot that came out over the last few weeks afterwards. Coincidental, it's so coincidental, right? And I, I even had a little chat with uh, Lee Dalton. I said, hey, <laughs> be careful, man, because what you're gonna bring in is a lot of baggage and trouble. And all he cares about is his own personal agenda. It's funny how, you know, Jen always says, uh, people first, money second, right? You know, you guys, if you guys don't see how outrageously, you know, sarcastic, you know, when he says that, right? Sarcasm. People first, money second. You're like, come on, man. You, we all know it's all about the money first. That's why he goes into particular platforms that have deep compensation plans. And then he tries his hardest to have any sort of influence on it, to have whether, whether it's release of plans, new plans, whatever it is, right? He tries really hard about that. And so with that, all right, um, is what comes with him. That's just what he is, what he does. All right, and well, wherever he touches goes to fail, right? Big time. It's funny how that is, right? Ask him about Tegeta. He stopped talking about Tegeta. Ask him, hey, what, what happened with Tegeta? He stopped talking about it. <laughs> yeah, man, it's so funny. Because Tegeta had to go through some changes. 
All right, and uh, I mean, it, it, it even it wasn't even that great to begin with, but he went into that, tried to push it hard, and now they had to go through some changes. It wasn't for the good. Uh, it's actually for the bad. It's it just sucks, you know. And so, uh, and then they end up not paying all together, right? They didn't fulfill their end of the bargain, their promise. So screw them too, right? So, but ask him, hey, hey, what happened to Geta, right? Because now he's pushing two token platforms. SureX and then some other garbage, both from Asia. Those are going to die because no one cares about token platforms anymore, right? And uh, that, that was so 2017, you know, 2018. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, there's only so much you can do with these token platforms. And if you're going to keep it based in Asia, because I don't think anybody else outside of Asia even knows about them, then, <laughs> yeah toast done all right back to the drawing board keep looking because he's supposedly on this little tour of finding the best platforms out there there is right out, out on tour all of a sudden right he's on this new mission but yet ask him because his last videos he came out with was cloudfy and vortex what happened ask him right no answers right? he shut she he shut the chat back down again called that out <laughs> that was easy that was so easy to see because the chat got out of control. So what does he do? Don't He doesn't like to engage. He, he shuts, shuts it back right back down. All right. Has a little, his little bitch Marcos to be his little enforcer. All right. So, and and Don Malachy. Well, what about that now? Huh? You got nothing to show for, bitch. But always has good things to say about Jen. <laughs> Come on, dude. Really? Well, yeah. So with Invisible, it's starting to come on my radar, right? And because of the numerous plans and, you know, different rates, different, you know, days, the bonuses, all this stuff, right? And it had to have a touch of Jan influence. It had to. All right. But um, with that, uh, you know, withdrawals kind of slowed down a little bit. They blame it on blockchain. I mean, it could be blockchain, but then it could be the platform too, right? So, you know, you, you could look at it either way, right? And with that, though, um, that is the thing, though, right? Withdrawals have kind of slowed down a bit to the point where they weren't coming out for some people a few extra days than normal. But that's enough to raise antennas, raise attention, raise kind of thoughts in people's minds but don't really want to say right I didn't really I think about it at first but then when I started seeing more and more of it I was like uh oh something's up here <laughs> All right? I honestly didn't really think much of it at first but then I started to see the chats get clogged more and more on invisible and I'm just like alright let me read what's going on here so as I read yeah that's that what I just mentioned is what has been happening and not only that now, so they just had a big Zoom call back on the 13th, all right, to kind of clear the air a little bit, clear the mud. And um, let's take a look at that, all right. So let's see here. All right, and the chat has been going crazy for a while now. All right. Uh, let's see how you remove the... I have to go back to the 13th now. They removed the post note there. The, the tack or tick tack, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to have to see if I can pull that back up now. But um, anyhow, I already went over it. All right, I, I went over it um, about the main details of what the changes have come to this platform. All right. And, you know, there's a lot of people that didn't like it. And there's a lot of people that was like, eh. And then there's a lot of people that saw changes in their back office. Right? When it came to the terms of the plans and all that stuff. So there were some things that were going on that's happening here, right? But one thing is, you won't hear a damn thing from Marcos, right? Let's see here. All right, let me see. Let me make sure. Let me refresh this. Yep, same thing. Don't, you won't hear a damn thing. All right, but yet, <laughs> oh, what happened to the invisible AI, man? Look, you took out the invisible AI videos too, right? 
Is that crazy? Crazy how that is, huh? So, uh, let me see here. I'm trying to find those particular details, all right? Unless it was taken down. First thing he bitched about in the chat was, I have my withdrawals pending for a few days now. Who do I talk to? All right? Oh, bitch. So, that's the shit I'm talking about, right? Let me see here. Yeah, it's just full of shit, you know? Trying to find it here. Alright, so here it is. Uh, let's see. So the new announcements, right? Just to kind of rehash what was said. Withdraw limits, 15,000 per day. Facebook group been removed. Uh, removing Telegram group for important announcements and updates. Uh, introducing premium Telegram group for high-end. CEO club, stay tuned. Bonus distribution with the plans. Make sure all bonuses are directly just deposited to the balance, which allows you to withdraw and reinvest. Promos, right? Uh, baseline, all the plans work at how we can dynamically sustain for the long term. And all plans will be business days. Uh, it's a great model. It gives us manageability for what's coming in and going out. And these are the plans, right? 1%, 500, 3,000, 1%, 6,000, 1 1.5, 9,000, uh, 2%, all business days, right? Um, yeah, so with all that, that's what we got there, all right? Um, and, you know, I'll, I'll give it this, right? I notice that when it comes to business days that they run on platforms, they tend to run better. Um, so that's one thing I've noticed in, you know, dealing with platforms, Right, a lot of them that do business days tend to run better and longer, all right? But, you know, it's just something. All right, I had to shut down that little music there for a little, <laughs> you know, for a copyright thing, but I was a little, I was in the middle of working on a mix. Um, yeah, so I was trying to finalize it for the airing, right? I guess I'll just say it right here, the Tupac. All right, I, I mashed up a Tupac. And um, I mashed, it took, ooh, man, it took me a couple hours to do some mashing up. And so uh, I was finalizing it so I could air it. And so that's coming. All right, so check that out. Tupac mashup of all the greatest hits mashed up. All right, so that's coming. Uh, but anyhow, um, yeah, so with Invisible, they've gone through the change, right? And it was cited, it was noted. Lee said it himself to, to kind of try to get back in the win column from all the losses is what he said, right? He's trying to get back the losses that was incurred. My thought was losses incurred or to cover all the plans that have come about that uh, I think it was a Jan-inspired push, right? Right? And so the jam factor, quote unquote, trading losses, you know, and uh, this is a recipe of what we are in right now, this state of trying to get back to the original basics, right, of what Invisible AI was about. And that's what they were about. They're getting back to the original fundamentals because the withdrawals have slowed down too and they're trying to get back on track with that stuff, right? But the complaints are getting louder and louder right now. So that's the reason why it's drawing my attention on Death Watch. And it's just a, a topic matter. I haven't really declared it Death Watch just yet. It's getting there, but not yet. But it is a matter to be spoken about on Death Watch that it's getting my attention. So that's what's going on here with Invisible AI, all right? And so... Uh, Unfortunately, that's what's happening here. You know, it's kind of a thing that's happening. So, I mean, it's all we can do, right? It's all we can really do. So, um, all I got to say is all eyes on Invisible if they were trying to pull through. All right? That's all I got to say about that. You know, it's because uh, crazy times right now that's been happening lately. 
But yeah, the, but the biggest complaints as of right now still is the slow of withdrawals. All right. Processor, mempool, whatever, all right? That's what's happened. That's the reality. So we're going to keep an eye on this, all right? Keeping on watch, visible AI. Uh, let's see here. Here's a funny story. Um, let me see here. Here's a funny story. Let me see here. All right, so uh, the funny story is this Impulse X garbage, right? Which was a spinoff of uh, this Polaris group that originated back to my passage trades back in 2019 there. Uh, so Impulse X, let's see, the site's probably gone. Yeah, their site's, yeah, this is, well, that's what they were called, Impulse X. They're gone, though, but they were kind of a break off of this Polaris group, poorly mismanaged. And still trying to hang people on, right? They've been out of commission for a very long time, this Impulse X, right? So in order to rescue Impulse X from completely dying, Mark, I think his name is Mark Whedon, who failed, uh, what was that other one called? Uh, Elevate Pass, if you guys remember Elevate Pass, which is, let's see here, is it here still? I don't know if I still have Elevate Pass up here. Um... Which, by the way, has make has been starting on a comeback trail right now. Here's let's take a look at Elevate Pass. All right, if you guys recall, they're actually been doing Zoom calls for the last uh, couple weeks, and they're trying to make a comeback. I don't know if it's trusting to do so, but they're trying to make a comeback. We'll talk about Ele Elevate Pass another time, um, but. Mark failed them, right? He destroyed them, supposedly mismanaged their money, probably took their money, and they kicked them out, right? And then he was running Impulse X, which was kind of like Elevate Pass, but Impulse X. And so last October, uh, he somehow struck a deal with WeWe Wee here uh, to have WeWe Wee absorb Impulse X and, you know, for whatever token to token, whatever it is, I don't give a shit. All right. And this migration process is supposed to only take not that much because there's not a lot of people in Impulse X, right? Uh, the next thing you know, guess what? Fast forward months and months later, right, through this summer, yet still not fully migrated, right? And then. We, we made an announcement that uh, they are no longer going to be able to be in play. All right, that they themselves are um, going to have to make some changes and they're going to go through a migration process as well. So all this is all supposed to be moved uh, into something different, right? What is it called? Um, TBE here? Not TBE. Yeah, TBE. The blockchain era. So that's what's happening there. Uh, WeWe Global has changed their name to blockchain era and relaunching. Um, so they're supposed to take Impulse X people, the WeWe people, and all come into this blockchain era. All right. So if you guys want to fall for that shit? Go on ahead. But man, this has been like a pretty much a year now that this whole thing is happening for, especially for people of Impulse X. And I think this is the second failure of WeWe Wee Global that they've had to change now to blockchain era. So it's just a big fat mess, right? And uh, people of Impulse X, good luck with that shit because uh, you've had a, a, <laughs> a shit coin for the longest time that you're never going to get any value out of that. So I don't even think they're just going to spin your wheels. You're not going to get shit out of it. Um, Go ask Crypto Music. <laughs> Go ask Whale Miner. Go ask that one dude. Uh, what's his name? Crypto. He's a garbage YouTuber too. Um, he has an accent, English accent. Uh, there was another guy that was big on Impulse X, and uh, I was like, you, you guys are wasting your time. But yeah, so now they're migrating to the blockchain era, guys. So yeah, good luck with that shit. All right, but that's what's happening there. Um, how long is that going to take? Who knows, all right? Uh, but it's just another way for Mark to kind of push shit off because he's already failed a couple times now. 
And he's terrible, man. Terrible mismanaging of everything. So, yeah, we'll see what happens with this shit. But I just wanted to put that out there. That's what's happening. Uh, we're going to be talking about Drip tomorrow. Since, you know, Drip is on Death Watch, technically. But, you know, I, I usually have a Drip dedicated video on Sundays. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. Man, Drip is uh, going through it, too. Uh, it'll be very, very interesting on what's going to be transpiring from that. Uh, but I'll talk about that more tomorrow. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's something else that I missed. Uh, yes, people are still asking about Cloud5. People are still asking about CoinMarketBall. Are you guys idiots? <laughs> are you guys dummies? Uh, oh, and here's the next story of... Uh, here's another new story added to the twist of storytelling from Afrik. So, the sister of... The guy that stole all the money, Abby Yomi, they came, they tried to come to get her because I guess she was somehow tied or implicated into this whole theft of Afrique. They tried to go after her. She tried to run and jump out the window, whatever, and she broke her leg and they still arrested her. So that's another <laughs> added story piece to uh, Afrique, which is kind of funny. I mean, that, that they're telling this whole story, bribing the police officers. Uh, you know, now they're after the sister and, you know, they still got Abby Omi in custody. And so, Afrique's not going anywhere. You're not going to see that money again. It's done. I don't care what they're saying. They're just going to keep telling more stories and more stories. They love the stories. So, that's what's happening with Afrique. Um, but yeah, so that's what's happening there. And don't believe that Mainnet is coming back either. All right, they're still tied up with the whole French authority stuff. They try to push withdrawals of like ten dollars and twenty dollars out. Uh, I think it was, I think it was a bunch of crap um, because you know if you have a certain amount of people that hasn't gotten it, even though they tried, then it's it's shit. It's full of shit. So just throwing that out there. Um, trying to make sure I got everything covered here but the biggest thing is invisible AI I wanted to put that out there and make that a point that that is what is happening there because it's not being talked about you know and that's the problem with it is that there's not enough conversation with that and then lastly let's talk about Vortec all right so Vortec obviously it's always in the heart in the minds of everybody. So this is what was announced. So they had the you know Zoom call on Friday, right? And this was what was announced. Debit card coming soon, all right? Uh, the updates are advancing fast and we have some great news for you. As you already know, on the 1st of October, we're gonna introduce fiat deposits. And then on November 1st, debit cards, right? Uh, so here's here's the thing and then of course let's see here what else um, debit cards that's the call if you guys want to listen in on the zoom call for that and oh man look at that some great win-loss ratio still uh, always upwards of beyond 60% right 70% at this point you should be having a boatload of money in in the vault right now to try to dish out to us which we're not going to get but here's my thing all right October 1st, introducing fiat deposits. This is what's going to happen. You're still not going to get that money. They're going to say, oh, we're still working on this, but we're going to open up fiat deposits to make it easier to, you know, hook up your bank account to it. Uh, you know, we'll make it easier and more convenient for more people to get involved. You know, if people that don't have access to crypto, you know, you, you want to put in cash to... Go into these plans, all right, to, to make things happen, to grow your fiat. We got you. But right now, the withdrawals are still not ready. <laughs> They're going to have a new excuse. The withdrawals are still not ready. And guess what? They're going to cancel that October event. That event is not going to happen. They're going to cancel that event. These fiat deposits are going to open it up for more people to join. They're not going to pay nothing. And guess what? <laughs> November 1st rolls around. They're going to use this debit card as an excuse that uh, we're still trying to work on things. Uh, uh, it's just not quite ready. And uh, But the debit card's coming November 1st. I think that's the best way to go. This is the quote-unquote 
payment solution. Where do we hear that before? We heard that from Cash of X. All right, Cash of X said they had the ultimate payment solution. We got the debit cards coming. Guess what? All right, debit card November 1st. They're going to push for that big time. Oh, we're not ready for the release of fun yet. But the debit card's coming, and then when the debit card's coming, that's going to be your payment solution that you could use the balances that you've accumulated in your back office. All right, I've got, <laughs> you know, multiple thousands of dollars in the waiting that I could use with this debit card, but it's not going to happen. All right, just logistically hasn't happened in a crypto platform, and it's not going to happen with Vortex United. All right, so good luck with that shit. You heard it here first. All right, this is what's happening. Again, fiat deposits. It's going to open it up for more people to throw in cash, whatever. No release of funds still. New excuse. All right. Cancel the October event. Oh, uh, you know, because they're still going to get mobbed. If they have that October event, they're going to get mobbed, all right? So they're going to avoid the mob. That's all I got to say. And they're really just going to aim for that November 1st. That's number three. They're going to aim for that November 1st debit card. All right. Oh, you know, this is going to be the payment solution, guys. This is where it's going to go. Just go right here. This is where it's at. Okay, guys. And bam. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. That's where it's at. That's what's happening. And uh, you're going to see. And I'm going to laugh at all you guys again. But on... The other side of things, if everything does come out October 1st, I will do a public apology, but I just don't think it's going to happen, though. So that's what's happening here. This is your death watch, all right? That Invisible is on the radar. I haven't really officially called it out yet, but it's on radar. You heard about Impulse X and now Vortex new announcement. Comment down below. Let me know what you think about all that. I'll see you next one.